Ever wonder why ketchup bottles are so notoriously hard to squeeze? Could it be a secret society of condiment creators having a laugh at our expense? Today we delve into the fascinating world of ketchup. A condiment that adorns our tables and tantalizes our taste buds. Is it a mere tomato-based sauce or is there more to it? A playful mystery, a culinary puzzle, a ketchup conundrum? Well, while we may not have answers to the great squeeze question, we certainly have a plethora of surprising facts about ketchup to share. Did you know that ketchup originated in East Asia and not America? Yes, the quintessential American condiment isn't American at all. In its earliest form, ketchup was far from the sweet, tangy tomato blend we know today. It actually started in the 17th century as a type of fish sauce in China, known as ketchup or ketchup. From there, English explorers brought the sauce back to their homeland where it continued to evolve. The British, always fond of a good sauce, experimented with various ingredients. They used mushrooms, walnuts and even anchovies, but tomatoes were not originally part of the equation. The idea of a tomato-based ketchup only came about in the early 19th century in America. James Mees, a Philadelphia scientist, is credited with developing the first tomato ketchup recipe in 1819, but it wasn't until Henry J. Hines started mass-producing it in 1876 that ketchup began to resemble the condiment we know and love. Hines introduced vinegar to balance the sweetness of the tomatoes and added preservatives to increase shelf life. This game-changing combination of taste and convenience ensured ketchup's place at dinner tables across America and eventually around the world. From its humble beginnings as a fish sauce in China to its reign as America's favorite condiment, ketchup's journey is a testament to the evolving nature of food and culture. So next time you douse your fries in ketchup, remember you're enjoying a piece of Asian culinary history. You may think you know what's in your ketchup, but prepare to be surprised. When you think of ketchup, you probably think of tomatoes, vinegar, sugar, and a handful of spices. But as with many things, the truth is far more intriguing. Throughout history, ketchup has been made with a dazzling array of ingredients. Some might even shock you. Let's start with mushrooms. Yes, you heard that right. Mushrooms. In the 18th century, ketchup in England was often made from mushrooms, not tomatoes. The fungi were boiled with salt and the resulting liquor was strained and spiced to create a potent condiment. But the surprises don't stop there. Fancy a dash of walnut in your ketchup. In the early days, recipes for ketchup frequently included walnuts. They were crushed and combined with vinegar, then left to infuse before being strained. The result was a rich, tangy sauce that was a world away from the tomato ketchup we know today. Perhaps the most shocking ingredient of all is anchovies. In the 17th and 18th centuries, many versions of ketchup were made with these small oily fish. They were layered with herbs and spices, then left to mature for several months. The resulting concoction was a far cry from the sweet, tangy sauce we slather on our fries today. It's also worth mentioning that the ketchup of yesteryears often included ingredients like brandy, beer, and even oysters. Imagine dipping your chips into that. Ketchup has come a long way since these early recipes. Today's version is a lot simpler and undoubtedly more tomato-centric. But it's fascinating to think about the journey this humble condiment has taken, from mushroom brews and walnut infusions to anchovy mixtures and beyond. So next time you're squeezing that bottle of ketchup onto your burger, take a moment to appreciate the complex history of this simple sauce. It's not just tomatoes and sugar, it's a culinary journey through time. Who knew that the humble ketchup could have such a complex and diverse ingredient list? Ketchup isn't just a condiment, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. Yes, you heard that right. This humble tomato-based sauce has a financial footprint that's nothing short of impressive. Let's dive into the world of ketchup economics. In the grand scheme of global trade, ketchup holds a surprisingly strong position. It's exported and imported by countries worldwide, gracing the tables of diners in New York, bistros in Paris, and even street food stalls in Bangkok. Now, when we talk about ketchup, one name that inevitably bubbles to the surface is Heinz. The Heinz company with its iconic 57 varieties slogan is a titan of the ketchup industry. So dominant is this brand that in many parts of the world Heinz and ketchup are virtually synonymous. The company's annual sales alone are a testament to the ketchup's economic muscle with hundreds of millions of bottles flying off the shelves every year. But it's not just Heinz. The global ketchup market 
comprising numerous brands, is projected to reach a staggering $24 billion by the year 2030. And here's a juicy tidbit for you. The average American consumes around three bottles of ketchup per year. That's nearly a billion bottles consumed annually in America alone. So next time you buy a bottle of ketchup, remember you're contributing to a global economic powerhouse. Believe it or not, ketchup isn't just for your fries and burgers. This versatile condiment, which many of us can't imagine a barbecue without, has a multitude of uses that extend far beyond the culinary world. Let's begin with a rather unusual one, ketchup as a cleaning agent. Yes, you heard it correctly. The acidity in ketchup makes it an excellent tool for cleaning and polishing. In particular, it works wonders on copper and silver items. Just apply a thin layer of ketchup, let it sit for a few minutes, then rinse and wipe clean. You'll be amazed at the shine it can bring back to your tarnished pieces. But wait, that's not all. Ketchup can also be used as a hair treatment. Now, I know what you're thinking, but stay with me here. The acids in ketchup can help to balance out the pH of your hair, especially if you've had a mishap with a home hair dye job. If your hair has taken on a greenish hue after a dip in a chlorinated pool, ketchup can come to the rescue. Applying it to your hair and letting it sit for about 20 minutes before rinsing can help neutralize the green. So if you ever run out of cleaning supplies or hair conditioner, just reach for that handy bottle of ketchup. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.